So now let's switch over to PC mode and we'll show you what this thing can do when it's tethered to a PC. So to do that, just take your USB cable. The other end of this should go to your laptop and just pop it in. So let's go to program files and let's look for the breathalyzer group. Now we're already in portable mode and we want to switch to PC mode, so click this one. Okay, so go to tools, click on board. Now by default, this board should already be selected, but just verify that's the case. And then we want to make sure we've got the right serial port selected. If you don't know the serial port of the breathalyzer, it's very easy to find. Just go over here to control panel, click on device manager and go over to ports and it's going to be the one that says USB serial port so here we are on COM5 so let's close out of there and let's make sure we've got the right port selected COM5 great and then hit upload this will take about 15 seconds or so okay so when it's done uploading you know it'll say done uploading that's how you know it went successfully so we can just close out of here and let's launch our breathalyzer configuration program just look for detected that means everything went well the software has uh, detected the breathalyzer and now we can run it custom audio mode and at this point just refer to the other video on the talking breathalyzer in PC mode and that will tell you all about what it can do when it's connected to a PC. So as you can see right now, we are in PC mode, which means that it will only work when tethered to a laptop. So what we're going to do right now is switch over to standalone mode and have this run on its own just off battery power. So what we're going to do is take our USB cable and just pop it in here. And we're just going to need to upload a new program to let it run in standalone mode. So now we want to go from PC mode back to portable mode. So same thing as before, go to the breathalyzer program files. And right now we're in PC mode, so we want to go to portable mode, so click here. And same thing as before, go to tools, make sure the right board is selected, that should not have changed. Make sure you've got your right serial port and then just again hit upload. This program is a little bit bigger so it's going to take a little bit longer to upload, about 30 seconds or so. Okay, we're done. It says uploading. So go ahead and close out of the program and that's all there is to it.